welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a highly requested video. Recently, I've received a ton of comments and messages asking what my self-tanning routine is. So in today's video, I'm going to go over all of that in detail for you guys. My full routine beginning to end. The first thing I like to do is remove all of my jewelry and make sure my hair is up completely out of my face, off my shoulders and back. Today I'm going to be using the self tanner I've been loving. This is the Coco and Eve Sunny Honey Bally Bronzing Foam. They offer three shades, medium, dark, and ultra dark. Medium gives a really nice, subtle, natural glow. It's perfect for lighter skin tones. Dark is ideal for medium skin tones. And ultra dark is a rich, deep tan, perfect for deeper skin tones. All you're going to do is first prep your skin by exfoliating your face and body and removing any unwanted body hair. Exfoliating helps to remove any dead skin cells and helps to really even out your skin to ensure the most even application and maximum wear out of your tan. I have a couple I'll recommend to you guys. So the first is my Kate Somerville Intense Exfoliating Treatment. This is for the face and can be paired with whatever your current skincare routine is. And then for the body, these are two of my favorite go-tos. First is the Caress Evenly Gorgeous. This smells so good. It's like a warm vanilla brown sugar. If you're more of a tropical scent lover, then I definitely recommend this one. It's like a fresh coconut lime scent, but it also has that same gritty type texture to it, which is exactly what we're looking for. After you shower or bathe, you're going to dry off. Then apply your self tanner directly to dry skin. I like to use the mitt on larger areas of my body and the kabuki brush on smaller areas. So I'm going to start with my mitt first, applying the Bally bronzing foam in a circular motion all over. Personally, I reach for medium a lot in the beginning of spring and summer to start with a really nice, subtle, healthy glow. It's also a great shade option to use in between a darker self tanner just to upkeep that glow all year round. If you don't have someone to help you apply this to your back, what I typically do is apply some self tanner on the front and back of the hand mitt and use it both ways. If you do get it on your clothes, have no fear. You can simply just wash it off. It's not going to permanently stain. I also love it because it's created with a green gray base for a natural looking golden glow rather than any red or orange tones. It also helps to blur pigmentation and soften the overall look of the skin, giving a more firm toned look. And you know what they say. If you don't have time to tone it, tan it. You should allow the tan to develop for a minimum of two hours or overnight if you want to build up a deeper tan. After I apply the tanner on larger areas, I move on to smaller areas using the kabuki brush. So around my neck, hairline, face, hands, and feet. Today I'm also going to be using the Coco and Eve bronzing face drops in medium glow. This is also a great option to add to your tanning routine because it gives you a gradual, natural glowing tan while moisturizing and plumping your skin. Again, this is super easy to use. Just shake the bronzing face drops, then gently press the bottom at the end of the applicator to release the drops. It's sort of like this little soft, squishy dome at the bottom. Add about two to three drops to your moisturizer in the palm of your hand or on your fingers and rub this together. Then just apply this evenly on your face and neck. This works with any of the Bally bronzing foams, medium, dark, or ultra dark. If you want a deeper glow from your face drops, simply add more drops. And let this develop for a minimum of two hours and rinse. If you want, you can take it a step further, again by using that Bally bronzing foam and your kabuki brush and applying this in all your contour areas. This is a great way to just complement your natural features, especially when you're not wearing any makeup. So I'm going to apply this on my jawline, cheekbones, the sides of my nose, and hairline. Basically, you're just going to enhance the shadows that naturally hit your face, creating sort of a no makeup makeup look while adding structure and color to match your body. Then following the same two hour minimum rule, you can then rinse and gently pat your skin dry to reveal your now bronzed, sun-kissed glowing skin. This is after showering, after using the Coco and Eve bronzing face drops all over and the foam has contour. I know the contour part looks a little bit crazy, but trust the process because it works. You can see it adds more color, definition, and structure to my face. And it's much more subtle after you rinse than when you first apply. Be sure to remember to moisturize your skin daily to maintain your self-tanning results. These are two of my go-to favorite body moisturizers. The first is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration, super hydrating and very lightweight. Another one of my favorites is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And then for my face, I typically use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I will link everything down below per usual if you guys want to shop anything or check out any discount codes available. 
I purposely did not put on makeup today because I wanted to show you guys what the self tanner looks like on my body and face. And I've had it on for about a week now, so I wanted to also show you guys how natural it looks when you first apply it, but also the gradual fade. So there's no like patchiness, streaking, peeling, nothing like that. I'm also a huge fan of this particular self tanner because it smells so good. It smells like mango and guava. Hands down, the best smelling self tanner I've ever used, which is a huge plus. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any other questions, be sure to comment that down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.